All right, hey yard people, it's Rob with the Yard Man, Yard Man LLC. So, I'm not gonna make this a very long video. What I do wanna show is this property that I was working on. Let's clean this up. There, that's a little better. Show this property, a new client of mine, and today's kind of a bad day because my John Deere Z-Track Z335 Echo was, uh, it was bogging down on me. The left track, uh, the tracking as you move the controls either forward or backwards, well, the left isn't working. It's making a noise like, like some, I don't know, like it's working overtime. So I gotta, I, I'm halfway done with this three acre property. And uh, I told the client, I said, I'm not gonna uh, bill you until I finish the job, but I'm not gonna be able to finish the job today. So yeah, that sucks. So there's the mower. So what's going on is as, I, as I'm pressing this, um, it really isn't doing a whole lot of drive at all. So I'm not happy, but look at that. Okay, we, we laid down some stripes. This is the first time doing this property. I wanted to figure out how I wanted to uh, attack it. And I decided to go with this angle on the property because of uh, the drive into the yard, into the uh, residence, but also the way the sun was shining. Um, I thought this would be good, at least for the first mow. So you can see where I've left off. Uh, this is my first couple of lines right here. And then I then I went on down that way. So just a little over, well, maybe half of the property got done. So here's the rest of it, or some more of it. Now I already mowed around the perimeter, around the whole perimeter, and uh, I've got more work to do. So you can see some more area up here I have to take care of. So, well, that's it. The mower's under warranty, so I'll be getting that checked out hopefully tonight. It's uh, probably close to 6 p.m. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time getting anybody to look at it tonight, but uh, I'm out of business uh, until I get that thing up and running. So it's a priority. Um, I do have the 21-inch Toro residential personal pace mower, or it's 22-inch. But uh, yeah, we're not we're not doing all the properties like that. But like I've heard before, if you have two, you have one, and if you have one, you have none. So um, not everybody has a backup mower. I know I don't, but I'm gonna get this one fixed. So that's part one of this video. Hopefully, part two is me completing this, and uh, we'll go from there. Today is the 27th of August, 2019. Bye. Stay cool, yard people. Have fun. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, or no, actually, don't don't like this. Don't like the video. Don't subscribe. <laughs> Unsubscribe and then subscribe again. Um, I'm just mad because my mower's broke. So, y'all do what you want. Have a great day. Bye. And hey, yard people. <laughs> this is the part two of this video. So be between the time that my mower went down and now has been um, 12 days. I got the John Deere back. So the problem was a, they said they replaced the transmission. It's a uh, hydro pump um, and a, a drive gear, I guess, associated with the uh, John Deere Z335 Echo. The thing had 23 hours on it, folks. So I'm back. 12 days later today is the 6th or 7th of september 2019 so i finished up the three acre property of course i did half of it um well i did half of it just a couple of minutes ago according to the video um so this was a lot of fun uh, of course i had my 3m work tunes uh on my head and i was listening to my favorite fm radio station and uh, that was pretty cool I think I spent a couple hours here um, knocking out to uh, this guy I gotta pull that got a few ruts there um, it was the angle I was going down so uh, again first time doing the property well second time um, so I'll get better at that but look at all this a lot of open grass 
it was it was fun now the homeowner said that uh, he doesn't need me to be weed whacking all along here along the perimeter or around the trees so uh, the the deal that we made was for me to um, get as close as I can with the mower and uh, we'll call it good so anyways um, the grass was a little tall um, kind of thin so it wasn't super thick tall stuff uh, they got a fire pit here trimmed around that um, John Deere with the striping kit grooming kit did lay down some stripes not bad not bad for a residential mower huh so anyways um i think the homeowners would be happy i am getting ready to get out of here here's some more of the property of course you can see i just walked around i'm not taking care of any of this this is uh i don't know they got some type of rocks it used to be a i guess an organized flower bed of some sort and it may be again someday so when the lighting is just right i think these stripes will turn out just fine so i've got some stripes going this way and if you turn this way they're going here and they overlap right in this area so i'd have i'd have some diamonds um hard to kind of see right now with the uh, the way the lighting is but hey when i uh, want to show off that so that's what the logo looks like embroidered um i picked these shirts up at the mall uh oakley and uh the ones i was wearing they were thick there were some anyways this is a uh, more expensive shirt but it's definitely a lot more comfortable and uh, just picked them up today i've got i've got some others at the house um anyways the embroider the uh, the logo looks pretty nice tell me what you all think go ahead and put some comments down below um and don't forget to like if uh you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel um i'll keep making videos one way or the other um if you have any comments about a john deere having a transmission problem or a hydro drive gears going out at 23 hours um or if you've got a uh, a friend or a similar experience or story go ahead and let me know i'm curious um I, I bought John Deere when I bought this mower because I didn't want any problems after 23 hours. Well, um, you know, anything made by man, let the motorcycle go by, anything made by man, we're gonna, we're gonna mess things up once in a while. And I think I might've just gotten a lemon. So, you know, uh, it was under warranty, got it fixed. Um, but I was, I was without the mower, guys yard people for um almost two weeks and so i was uh, i was using the toro uh 22 inch personal pace uh and i i remember telling my wife after a week and a half of that i said this pushing them over is for the birds um well anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh part one and part two is gonna be all in this one video and um I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna name it, but I'm looking forward to hearing some of y'all's comments. A about the the property itself. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, largest one I have uh, I have cut for a client so far, and uh, they're gonna be bi-weekly. Um, and look at all these trees, guys. Look at all these trees. So I already discussed fall cleanup. Um, if they don't want leaves on their grass, then they can go ahead and give me a call. So. Uh, I think there's some uh, additional work to be done here throughout the um, throughout the fall. <sighs> that won't be fun if there's snow on the ground. This is not a four-wheel drive truck. So uh, I don't know if you can tell the angle on that. It's, I don't know, 30 degrees at least. It's a little more steep up at the top. Like, subscribe, have fun, throw some comments to me, and y'all uh, just keep having a blast. I uh, hope you like this video. Talk to you later. Bye.